Number four, function of content marketing. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today we're covering uh, number four out of the nine functions of content marketing as outlined by Robert Bly in the Content Marketing Handbook. Great book and I we're just covering this this small section in the first chapter but I think it it really draws to a lot of the ideas of what content marketing actually does for you and and this one's a this one's a deceptively simple one so the the first three just as a quick review uh, of the nine functions number one is to it, it uh, sets the specs number two it makes the prospect beholden number three it generates more inquiries what number four is is it gets you new customers now I know a lot of people think that that should be the main function of everything all sales but sales has so much and sales and marketing has has so many other facets to it getting the initial new customer isn't necessarily the only thing you should be focused on but content marketing helps do that and one of the ways it does it, and he discusses this briefly in, 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 a, in a handful of paragraphs, is that it differentiates you from everybody else. Rather than just providing a sales pitch, what content marketing can do for you is it gives more information. It, and in that process, it allows the potential customer, the prospect, to trust you. There's a trust being built in that process, regardless of what you say or whether it's even true. But if it rings true, if it sounds authoritative, you can that you can receive a new customer because you have a, a especially depending on what it is that you're selling, okay, whether it's product, service, some things don't take that much research. But if, especially if you're in a highly competitive realm it makes a big difference in order to get the new customer by having unique content. And that doesn't matter whether he, he mentions in here about having a blog or having a, an email e-list or what have you. And he says, don't just, don't just focus all on sales, focus on content as well. And I really like Ben Settle's approach. And it, it's really a lot, I think of, of why I designed these uh, vlogs the way I do is because what Ben Settle teaches is to have both in every post. So you make sure you at least do something to encourage people to do something in a positive direction, hopefully to actually purchase something, but even if it's, even if it's just uh, getting involved in some way. And then also having a sizable amount of content or infotainment or what have you adapted in there some way and he, he teaches that through email but it doesn't matter what form of content that you're putting out there what matters is is that it has a substance if it has substance you can get new customers that way which is a really it, it, it's a it's a great function and like i said deceptively simple but when you compare it with everything else that he's outlining especially in the next in the next five uh, functions uh, you, you'll see how these things all tie together. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be going over number five tomorrow. Uh, and as I mentioned, you should always have some type of a pitch in in your material, at least somewhere, uh, especially a call to action. My call to action right now is for my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. You can go and purchase a copy. I'm I'm happy to be able to make a little bit of money off of that, but that's not really my main thing my main thing is getting the information out to you so if you don't want to purchase a hardcover uh, a copy of nine ways to amazon proof your business which you can get at amazon.com or any of the other places that sell books you can always just go to my website and download a free copy amazonproofbook.com that's amazonproofbook.com that's all i have for tonight we'll be back tomorrow with number five like i mentioned in the meantime get out there and let the magic happen.